Hello and welcome to another model building workshop. I am Mr. Allen coming to you from Providence, Rhode Island, part of the Providence Community Library. In particular, I'm with the Smith Hill branch of the Providence Community Library. And this is the model building workshop virtual edition. We are doing it live in person. Well, as long as the pandemic lets us. <laughs> so we're looking today at the Fiat G50 kit. This is well, it says MPC. This is the MPC boxing of the old Airfix kit. That's what this is. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of these built and sitting on this table, and I'll show you more of those in just a second. But this is a fun boxing of this kit from, I don't know if it gives you the year on this or not, but you can kind of tell looking at the box art there for the funky decal options that came with this kit. So you have the actual model kit for the Italian Air Force of World War II and you have these really fun peace and love hippie type markings and racing markings just for kicks. Um, I guess that was popular uh, this is the late 60s, early 70s. That's my guess for that. And there's a fun example of if you bought stands, what you could do with stands. Look at the fun things you can do. Ooh. So, there you have it. So you can tell how old it is by looking at this once white paper that is not. More like the color of the wood back here now. Well, theoretically, this wood, right? So this particular kit, this is unlike the uh, original Airfix kit. It, it had, you know, these weird decals, which I guess I shouldn't make fun of them, but <laughs> it is kind of strange to me. But you had the clear uh, disc propeller you could use to make it look like it was spinning and in, in flight. Uh, it's got some interesting photos of the assembly. You can see the parts there. So that's the instructions, and there's the decal and the stand information on there as well. So this is the Fiat G50 Fre oh, it's Frecci or Freccia, the Arrow, which first flew in 1937 and it went into action in the Spanish Civil War in 1938. And the uh, this version, the improved version, was developed as a result of the combat experience with the Spanish Civil War. For example, it has an open cockpit. It originally had a glassed end cockpit, but the pilots hated it and wanted it open like the biplane fighters because they liked the visibility and the, I guess the feel of it. Kind of an odd step backwards in tech, but that's what they wanted. And for a while, they got what they wanted. And, but eventually, the open cockpit principle, by the mm, 42, 41, 42, it started to fade out as you know, new technology, new aircraft began to show up and new designs came along. But they, uh, they tried it for a while because that's what the pilots pretty much demanded at the time. I don't know if this says anything else with the custom decals. Yeah, a little bit. Here's the decal sheet, which at this age, I doubt highly this is going to work. As you can see, I built a number of these. I did build one of these uh, boxings of it, and these decals just disintegrated as soon as they hit water. I could try to revive them, but, you know, they are kind of novel. And then you have this strange uh, thing. I guess you put this on the clear disc to make it look like the propeller is moving. Although it only gives you two blades instead of three, go figure. Um, if you look carefully at the Italian fascist emblem, the detail of that de on that decal is pretty thin, and it's not that great on this either, actually. But those other decals are pretty trippy, aren't they? Ooh. I suppose they could be revived, but okay. So let's have a look at the kit itself. The decal, uh, decals, I'm still stuck on that. The details could be better, 
uh, but they're not horrible. This is typical old Airfix style parts. Propeller, one piece lower section wing. There's no real surprises. Oh, the stand is here. Ooh. We can do all kinds of fun, exciting things with this stand, huh? So there's the wing pieces. As you can see, there's not a lot of parts to this kit at all. And it does give you options for the wheels on the ground, or there's one you can use if you want to put them up. And it's a tiny glass cockpit piece, which is I'm going to leave it here because if I drop that, I'm never going to find it again. And the engine, well, it's two pieces, but there we go. Small pilot guy. Put it all back in the box. Check in the box, check out of the box. And let's take a look at some of these finished versions, right? So here's the original one, as the Airfix and MPC version. And I built this one. I think I was in high school when I built this. And it's still sitting around in my house, hand painted from probably the Reagan administration. <laughs> Without making myself seem too old. Uh, but that's the hand painted version. That's you know what she looked like. In the original kit markings, which worked at the time. I'm not so optimistic about that now. So, they do make, of course they do, um, some interesting aftermarket decal sets, like that one. Let's see the finished markings over here. The uh, look like the swastika, the, technically, not the swastika, it's a different. Uh, symbol dating back to you know Middle Ages, I think, some form of a cross. So this is uh, was it print scale decals and one seventy second scale. So they give you a, a lot of different options for how to do G fifty. A number of them are the uh, the BIS the improved versions, but there are some that have the uh, glass cockpit version, the original one, the Spanish Civil War. So there's a whole assortment of different types of things there and more here. Some of Croatian and the Yugoslav version. I can mention Finland's here. A lot of different uh, Italian options. A few Spanish Civil War options. So let's have a look. So there's this one here. Actually, I can explain a little bit where they're from. So I got one here. This green and green. So this was involved in the Battle of Britain, actually. I don't imagine this going up against the uh, Spitfires in the Battle of Britain. I don't think it did particularly well there. But this is in like a European green and green camo with the yellow identification uh, colors there for the Italian planes at the Battle of Britain. Later, this ends up getting used, as you see here, in North Africa. So that's from that decal set there. Green and green. Which has kind of a fun look to it. So that's what that is. One here from Finland in 1940. During the, ironically, during the probably during the Winter War, which I can't imagine this thing open cockpit fighting in the winter it would have been horrible. But the Finns kind of had to take what they could get. And then we have this other one here with this which is referred to as the lizard camouflage scheme, and this is in Greece in 1942. So this is after the uh, 
conquest of Greece in 41s, this would have been you know, defending or patrolling that area from British or American bombers, I guess. So that's what you can do with the Airfix and MPC versions of the Fiat G50 with some extra decals. And he has a set of paints from the uh, Life Color line designed for that. And we've got a few other players in the game here now, AML models. This is the, uh, the B, this is a two-seater training plane. Now, I've not tried one of their kits as of yet. This is the Czech Republic, these are newer ones. This is the training plane and there's a lot of nice variants here, German, Italian, pre-war Italian. So Italian aircrafts tend to be assembly there. You can see that. It's a painter's dream or a painter's nightmare, these Italian camouflage schemes. It kind of screams to have a good airbrush or some good uh, strategies for going about painting. So there you go. It's got two different fuselages by the looks of things. Yeah. Interesting. Get some resin parts, some metal pieces here too. Uh, the glass is this style of molded glass there. So who knows? That could be challenging. I wasn't there was two kits here. That was just the one, just the one the wing set here. And they give you the two different. Uh, Bodies though, intriguing. And let's see what else we got here. That's quick. There's the G50 with skis, which is common. The Finns they adopted them to work with skis in the winter time. Again, open cockpit. Yeesh. And you do, like I had done, I had taken some decals from this kit actually to do to do this one. And then decals, of course, to do a different version as well. So I kind of played around with that. So that's what that is. And if you like it, 48 scale. And then there's the uh, Sector has a Gower 148 scale version. With a number of options in it. Quite a few. And fairly straightforward instructions. This isn't too bad. See how the parts look. Looks pretty straightforward. We'll find out when we start to assemble that. And a few different markings, different Italian fighter points from World War II. So that is the 10 second basically <laughs> look at the Fiat G50. So, keep on modeling. Stay safe, folks. Have fun.